I'm Dan Rusinowski here on SJSharks.com with another edition of the San Jose Sharks Prospects Development Camp. Conrad Appeltshauser is a member of the San Jose Sharks organization. Conrad, welcome to San Jose. Tell us what you've been learning so far. Uh, we've done a lot of skating and one-on-one uh, -on -one battles and uh, well, we worked on a lot of small things and a lot of uh, tactics and uh, well, we try to play like a San Jose Shark player. One thing that you've learned a lot about in the last couple of years is winning. You've won the President's Cup, you've won the Memorial Cup. What was it like uh, going to Saskatoon this past year and uh, capturing that hallowed trophy? Oh, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, well, first we won our uh, President's Cup and uh, and it felt great and we all we all uh, were really excited about that and our coach told us uh, that we are fortunate enough to capture that same feeling in two weeks and we don't have to wait the entire season to relive this feeling. So we went to Saskatoon knowing uh, what it feels like to win a championship and uh, we were fortunate enough to get the same feeling in two weeks again. And it was just an, uh, an amazing, uh, amazing feeling. Halifax is a great city and I know how much they love hockey there, but what did winning that Memorial Cup championship mean to Halifax, to Dartmouth, to all of Nova Scotia? Uh, it meant a lot to them. Uh, since uh, the franchise, the Moosehead started in Halifax, we have not won a title not a President's Cup or a Memorial Cup. So uh, it, was, uh, it was a great feeling for us players to finally give that great hockey city uh, the, the trophy and the championship they deserve. And uh, it was just a great feeling to give them what they deserve. And so now what's the next step for you? Obviously becoming a professional after four years of junior hockey. Tell us what you're doing to work to get to that point. Well, uh, I work hard every day. I don't take any days off. And uh, I, I take every chance I have to get a better player. Uh, to get a better player and get to that pro level. So uh, once that training camp start here in September, I'll be ready and be the best player I can be. And I'm ready to uh, surprise a lot of people. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that uh, because of the fact you played so many playoff games this last year, you weren't able to join the Worcester Sharks at the end of the season like, say, a Dildon DeMello did. Freddie Hamilton's been through that before. But at this camp, have you had a chance to get to know these guys a little bit over the course of your experience to uh, get an idea of what it's going to be like? Uh, this has been my fourth development camp with uh, with the Sharks here, so uh, they're all really good guys and they all take me in right away and uh, have a chat at dinner, at lunch with them. I, I know every one of them that's here. Um, they answer all my questions, they really help me to get to know them and get to know uh, what it's going to be like to make that transition. So I feel very confident that I'll be uh, making a quick transition just because they help me so much. You were born in Germany. Tell us how your journey got you to the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Um, well, it's a, it has been a long journey. Uh, funny thing is that uh, first when I started hockey, uh, I told everyone I will never change my my team because I, I I like my team so much and my teammates. And I told them, I work hard. I'm going to play pro in my hometown. I will never change. And I've never played uh, one game for my hometown pro team yet. But uh, once uh, one of my hometown players went to play in the OHL, as a young kid, I said, that's what I want to do. And I worked hard. I put in extra hours at the gym as a little kid, uh, stayed long on the ice, worked extra. And then I played as an underage at the under 18 uh, World Championship in Fargo, North Dakota. And some uh, and the scouts and GM from Halifax saw me there and they wanted me to get there in, in their t organization. They drafted me. I went there and uh, we went through a couple of hard years there at the bottom of the standings, but we just stuck with it, worked harder and harder, and finally ended up with a championship. You know, they say that before you can win, you do have to experience a little bit of losing. Is that experience been a positive one for you, the entire experience? Yeah, um, you know, it shapes your character being on a losing team, and I think it shows your true character that you can't give up and you have to stick with it and uh, follow your dreams. And, uh, you know, along the journey, it was hard, but I stuck with it. I didn't give up. I didn't say, uh, what the what the heck, and uh, trade me. I said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to stick with this team. I walk through, I work through the hard times, and we're going to get better together. And, you know, after four years, we went from worst to first. We look forward to you surprising a lot of people this coming training camp and wish you the best of luck. Thank you.